Okay, so we have a little application here with employees, the salary. We can click on an employee, see the details. Maybe we want to visualize the salary using a slider on a range. So how do we do that? We can actually extend our application using Oracle Jet Composite Components. So over here, I have four files or five files that describes the component and a zip file that takes all of them and zips them together into a composite component. Once I have it here, I can go back into my application settings and under extension, there's a section here where I can add new UI components. I can create a new one, but since I already have the four or five files and they are zipped, I can actually import them from zip, click here and point to the zip file. This will upload the zip file into Application Builder Cloud Service. Um, Okay, the five files, and you can actually modify the files if you want to over here. Okay, the five files, um, one of them is the HTML file. This one basically uses a slider component, a jet slider component, and maps to some properties. Those properties are defined here in the component JSON file. Okay, so you can see each one of the properties. There's the CSS, which is actually empty right now. Um, there's a model, which is also empty, but returns basically just an empty thing. And there's the loader, which basically describes the files involved, um, the dependency over here on the slider, okay, and the name of the component. So those were the five files. I zipped them, uploaded them, and then got them into here. And then all I need to do is turn it on like that. Okay, you have the description and the name over here. Now I can save the changes and go over to your page designer. And you'll notice here, I have a new component with the name slider and I can drag and drop it into my page. Okay. This component has several properties that were defined in the files we saw before. One of them is the title, so I can associate each one of those either with a fixed value or one of the fields. So for example, this might be a salary on range as the title. Okay, you can see immediately it reflects in the UI. You can set a minimum value and a maximum value. Um, so we'll do between zero and let's say 7,000. And then the value that I actually want to show here is the salary value from the employee object. Okay, so if I now run this, this is how far it goes with the shy salary, okay? And if we go back to Mike, Mike has a little bit more, so the, the slider shows a little bit further. And that's basically it. This is how easy it is to add Jet-based UI components into Oracle Application Builder Cloud Service.